welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing a product that I get asked loads about. We have had this product for probably about six months now, and we use it quite often because if you have been following me for a while, you will know that our house has got loads and loads of glass in it. So we need to use this product quite often to keep everything nice and clean. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Karcher Window Vac. It literally is, as it says, it's a window vacuum. It is a product that we use, like I said, very, very often, and I absolutely love it but I am gonna talk you through some of the pros and some of the cons and how we have got to grips with the product over the last six months and how we have found it most effective. As you can see at the top of your Karcher, it has got two separate little like rubber flaps. In between these two rubber flaps is where you will feel the sort of suction coming from as that is where the Hoover sucks everything up. On the base little rubber part, as you can see, it has these little grooves in it and it's in between those grooves that the water gets sucked through. I'm gonna turn the karcher on for you. So as you can hear, it is relatively quiet and you just need to charge this up at first for eight hours, but then once it's fully charged, it does last for a very long time. I would say us using it every week, on our big sliding doors, which probably takes about 20 minutes for us to clean, we can do at least three cleans with this one battery before having to recharge it. So it has got a really good battery life. So we bought the set that included the glass cleaner too. This was $59.99 for us, and it comes with the window vacuum, so the main body of it, which when you vacuum the window, this is where all the excess water gets stored into, and then you just empty it away. It came with 500 mils of glass cleaner, and it also comes with this sort of like bottle, and it's got a spray here, and then it's got this padded bit here, which you will wipe on the window. So you use this simply by filling it with um, part window cleaner, part water, spray onto the window, wipe like that, and then you get your karcher back and you vacuum the water away. However, I would buy the slightly cheaper one, 10 pound cheaper and you wouldn't get this glass cleaner because if I'm completely honest, I find just using a bucket of warm water and some washing up liquid works much better than this window cleaner. So I do find that if I use the window cleaner and this little gadget from Karcher, it leaves the windows quite streaky because what we have found over the last six months is that you do need your windows to be quite wet for them not to become streaky once you vacuum them. So since working this out, what we bought from Amazon was this little hand pad. So it's very, very straightforward. You just simply slip your hand into here. And then like I said, we make a bucket of warm water with a little bit of fairy liquid. And then we dunk our hand into the bucket and that's what we use to wet the windows with. So it does make a little bit of a mess on the floor but it's really, really easy to just kind of like clean up afterwards. It doesn't soak your floor at all, but whether you use actually this or this, you will still get some water drops on the floor anyway. So like I said, we dunk this into the warm water with soap, and then we generously put the water and soap mixture onto our windows before vacuuming it off. And this way you are left with absolutely no streaks from the Karcher window back at all. What I want to do now is show you how I use this product. So I'm going to show you what our windows look like. I tried to get a really good before shot of our windows, but it is so hard to show dirt on a window. We do have so much because obviously we have young kids, we have a dog. So whenever the kids go to open the sliding doors, they will kind of put one hand on the window and the other on the um, sort of frame where you pull it open and that's how they slide the doors open. They don't just think to put both hands on the sort of bar to open the door. They always have to get that one hand onto the actual glass too. So I'm going to show you exactly how we use this product and how it leaves your windows. So as you can see, I'm now just dipping the hand of cloth into the bucket of water and I am generously applying the water and soap liquid onto our windows. As I said previously, this does drop onto the floor a little, but it's really easy to just sort of clean up afterwards with a little cloth. I also find that by using this little hand cloth, it makes cleaning the windows so much quicker as well. I think with the Karcher spray gun, it just doesn't put enough liquid onto the glass, which then means when you go to vacuum it up, it's almost part dried, which then leaves streaks on your windows. 
when using this hand cloth, as you can make your windows quite wet, it means I can actually clean the whole window in one go. So I will generously put all of the water solution onto the window and then I will go in with the Karcher vacuum and I will go from top to bottom down at the windows. When it comes to you finishing your run with the Karcher vacuum, it does leave a little kind of water residue. So what I simply do is I run the Karcher along the base of the window sideways to just get up any of the excess water that is left behind. As the Karcher is a vacuum, like I said at the beginning, it collects all of the water in the little front section, which you can then empty away really easily. As you can see, the water that it's collected is very dirty, which just shows how dirty your windows are. We do exactly the same process for both inside and outside of our windows, as well as all of our Veluxes and other windows in our home. This is also brilliant for cleaning mirrors as well. Once you've hoovered up all of your water, I then just like to go around and spot clean the windows with a little cloth. What I use is just this microfiber cloth, which you can pick up literally anywhere. You can go to the pound shop and they sell them there, or you can pick them up if you're doing a shop in Tesco's or Aldi or wherever. They're very, very inexpensive and they are great for just getting off any little marks that you have seen that the Karcher has not picked up. Sometimes if you have sort of more oily hand prints, the Karcher isn't that great at getting those off, which is where your microfiber cloth will come in handy. We have definitely got this to a very good price per use for this item, as we use it at least once a week. We used to have a window cleaner that came every eight weeks, but I actually think this cleans windows better. We do now have him coming probably every 16 weeks, but that's purely to do the outside of the upstairs windows. And because we just like to keep on top of it with the Karcher, it's really easy to maintain our windows looking nice. So that is it. That's pretty much the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I would highly recommend this product. I just wouldn't really recommend paying the extra for the solution. This product has been really good for our home because we do have so much glass and um, it's something that if it broke, I would definitely buy another one, which I think means we really enjoy the product. So yeah, thanks so much for watching today's video. I will link everything down below that I have shared in this video, including this little cloth in my description box so you can find everything really easily. Thank you so much for watching today's review. If you have anything that you are thinking of buying but you would like to see a review on it first, then let me know in the comments section and I will see if it's something that we could use around our home that I could review for you. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.